what's going on you guys it's your man james aka jp back again with another toy room review and yes it is it's the day has finally come the review of my street fighter of my arcade one up street fighter arcade cabinet uh now this is my regular retail version that i purchased and as you may or may not have known i got this about a week ago but i've been in the process of moving and trying to set up the new toy room uh, where I'm living now and everything like that so life has been pretty crazy but I'm finally had time to sit down and play the cabinet and get this review out to you guys uh, so like I said this is my regular retail unit that I did pay for I did have a review unit being sent out to me but it still hasn't got here yet uh, but the, it's the exact same cabinet my thoughts and opinions are going to be the same regardless uh, so really quickly just for anybody who may not know for some reason now but I think everyone pretty much does Arcade 1UP is a three-quarter scale shrunken down arcade cabinet uh, and they have a bunch of different versions. I have so many videos covering exactly what these are and the details about all these so if you have no clue if this is your first time hearing about this or whatever and you want to check it out just go back and check out all of my other videos. Um, so I'm just going to give my thoughts and opinions and my final review on this arcade cabinet. Uh, I put it together, it took about an hour, um, yeah, hour, hour and 10 minutes because I've messed up on some parts, uh, but it took me about an hour to put it together and that's the standard time that it usually takes everybody, 45 minutes to an hour. Pretty simple if you follow the instructions and don't get ahead of yourself like I did. And once you do, you're ready to go. You plug it in and it is, it's as simple as that. Now the build quality of the arcade cabinet, it's not the greatest. It's just made out of pretty much just cheap wood um, and definitely if you, are too rough with it if uh, you nick it in the wrong corner or if you scratch too hard or anything like that I, I'm pretty sure that you know pieces are gonna chip off and things like that so the wood is very fragile so that is something you have to be wary of and a lot of people are having issues with the paint uh, the overlay on the control panel scratching off or rubbing off or whatever fading uh, I haven't played mine enough or even hard enough when I have been playing it. I have been sure to, been, uh, to be gentle with it. I haven't been rough enough with mine to the point where it's happening. But I did order uh, the protective overlays that they are offering now. Again, I made a video on that. If you don't know what that is, be sure to check that out. So the build quality is just okay. The wood quality, it, it's cheap. Uh, and I think we all pretty much knew that going into this. Now, as far as the size of the cabinet, it's actually bigger than I thought it was going to be. Uh, I saw, you know, a bunch of pictures online beforehand and whatnot, and, you know, I I pretty much thought it was going to be smaller. Uh, I knew it was going to be small, but I, I thought it was going to be smaller than it was. But when I finally built it and put it together, it was actually bigger than I thought it was going to be. I'm 5'9", and it does go up to my chest, which is, you know, it's really nice. I haven't got a riser or my homemade riser yet, so I haven't been able to play standing up. But honestly, sitting down... Uh, I'm sitting in the same chair that I sit in now uh, to film this video that I do to play it and it works out fine It's just a standard computer chair. So that you know, I, I like that I like the height of it the size of it It is cramped if you are playing with two players, but you know, you can make it happen You just have to you know not be so close to the middle of the cabinet and kind of sit off a little to the side or stand off to the side but it definitely works uh, and you know, I feel like the size is great and it's really the biggest arcade cabinet replica like officially licensed on the market anyways uh, So I feel like the size is great. I have no problems with that the buttons. I feel like they're okay You know, I don't have any problems with the buttons a lot of people are complaining about the buttons and how they're not uh, a, You know Sanwa or Hap uh, or anything like that, but I feel like the buttons are okay They're definitely manageable and even the uh, the joystick uh, I definitely feel like that's manageable as well. Um, I'm getting used to it and I have really no problems with it. Uh, so that is that. Um, the graphics on this thing are beautiful. Uh, and my screen, a lot of people have had scratches on their screens and stuff. I have some like scratches on my screen, but nothing deep. You only see it when the screen is off and when you have like lights flashing on the screen. I do have some dirt that is trapped behind the screen that does interfere while it's on. You do have a spot on the screen. However, it's in the top left corner and it's pretty much where the health bar is in the game. And while I'm playing the game, once I get into the game, I really don't notice it. So it's not that big of a deal. Nothing to the point where I had to call customer service and try and get a replacement. So there is that. As far as gameplay, the gameplay, is, you know, the gameplay is great. Uh, the gameplay is fine. I haven't noticed any input lag or whatever. Uh, so I have no problems with that. Uh, the emulation seems to be great. Uh, the biggest downside in the gameplay is the mono speaker. 
And this only has one speaker and that speaker is on the right side. So when you're playing Street Fighter 2 Turbo, uh, anytime you're player one on the character select screen, it doesn't make that normal dinging noise that it does when you switch between characters. <laughs> When you do, let's say, a Hadouken or a Sonic Boom or any anything from the left side that, that involves a projectile uh, character, you don't hear that sound. So when you do the Hadouken or you do a, a, a Tiger Punch or whatever, uh, you actually don't hear them, the character say that or make that noise. It just happens. Uh, and that is because the sound is supposed to be a surround sound and that sound would normally come out of the left speaker. But because there is no left speaker, you are missing that sound and... That is very unfortunate, but for some reason it only happens in Turbo. The other games aren't affected by that. So, I mean, I mean that's pretty much the gist of it. Now, these retail at $300. Now, do I think these are worth $300? I would say yes if it wasn't for the cheap quality of the wood and just the, the cheap quality of the entire machine. I think maybe at around $200 it would be a little bit better, but having spent my own $300, I'm still very satisfied with this. I just wish I didn't have to be as gentle with it. And, you know, I wish I didn't have to go and get a protective overlay for the graphics or anything like that. Uh, so I do wish for the $300, we would have got better quality as far as the wood goes. But again, like I said, having spent that $300, I, I have no regrets purchasing this. It's a lot of fun. It is a conversation starter for sure. Uh, and you know, it's just a great way to play Street Fighter. And me, I have so many different versions of Street Fighter already. I have Street Fighter on the Super Nintendo, on the Sega Genesis. I have the collection on the Switch. You know, I have it on PS1. I have so many different versions of Street Fighter. And you know, this is a great addition to the collection. And you know, having all those other versions of Street Fighter, Street Fighter 2 in particular, um, this is probably one of the ways that I'm going to be playing the most just because it's here I don't have to, to pop it into any system or, or you know fiddle around with anything I can just walk up to it turn it on and play it and now speaking of turning it on on the control panel It's very simple You have an on and off switch and you also have a volume switch which has three settings off low and high and uh, Even though this only has one speaker the one speaker that it has is very loud It's very clear and I feel like the speaker is very very High quality the sound is great it's just unfortunate that we only have one speaker and it really could have benefited from a dual speaker setup Like I said, I don't have many complaints about this other than the build quality and other than the uh, single speaker setup. Other than that, everything is great. It plays great. I don't have an issue with the buttons personally. I feel like they're they're serviceable and you know they work fine for me. Uh, and the uh, the cabinet itself, the speaker is very loud. The graphics are beautiful. They are an exact replication of the original Street Fighter II uh, Champion Edition cabinet, all the way down to Balrog being misspelled on the uh, on the artwork. That is not a mistake. That well, it is a mistake, but it was a mistake on the original cabinet from back in the day. So they even got that. They didn't bother fixing it. They kept it exactly how it should be, and I love that attention to detail. So overall, for three hundred dollars. You know, like I said, the, the quality of the wood could use some improvement, but I would still recommend picking one of these up. I'm having tons of fun with these. You know, I'm not super picky like everybody, you know, who complains about these, about the size being too small and this and that. I think it's great. I think it's cool. Uh, you know, I have no regrets purchasing this, and I'm looking forward to picking up more cabinets in the future to add to this collection. So that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's been long overdue due to many shipping complications, trying to get my cabinet and the review unit being delayed and UPS losing my package and waiting for GameStop to send a replacement. It's been, it's been a long thing and me moving as well. That that's, you know, but I have my regular retail unit. 
and I should have my review unit coming. It was supposed to come today, maybe it'll be here tomorrow, I don't know. But since I am gonna have two cabinets now, I'm gonna keep my review unit um, the way that it comes. I'm not gonna alter anything with it. Uh, just out of respect for Arcade one of just sending me one of these. Um, but the retail version that I paid for, I am gonna try and stick a retro pie in it. I've never done anything like this before, but I watched ETA Prime's tutorial, and I think I'm gonna go ahead and attempt to do that, swap out the buttons for some LED light up buttons and stuff like that. So that is a project that I'm gonna do, um, you know, once I get my regular retail unit in, I'll swap it out with this one, uh, and then this one I'll start customizing and modding. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll have an updated video on that. I'll have a comparison on the two cabinets and whatnot. So make sure you guys are subscribed and you click that notification bell so you get updated and notified whenever I post new videos and when I specifically post that video. Uh, and now you can see some of these stuff right here in the background. I got a ton of reviews coming up. Uh, I've been getting situated in, in the new place as you guys uh, saw in yesterday's video. So just bear with me. I got a lot of unpacking to do and I'm very exhausted. And I'm finally back at work. I took a few days off to move, but now I'm back at it. Uh, and I'm rambling on now. So I'm going to end the video here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video with your friends. Be sure to follow me on Instagram. The link is in the description down below. And as always, I'll see you guys next time.